Need help live streaming and recording with Cinemaker? With Cinemaker, you have the option to go live to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and any popular RTMP destination, all with the ability to live edit in real time by cutting between cameras and adding media elements. You also have the option to simply record with multiple cameras and then go back and edit in the in-app editor. In this video, we're going to show you everything you need to know for both. First, let's show you how to record. Fire up your Cinemaker Director app on your iPad or Mac and Cinemaker Capture apps on your iPhones. Once your cameras are connected, locate and hit the big red button just below the preview monitor. A pop-up screen will appear giving you the option to either record and live edit or to live stream. For this example, we will select record and live edit. Next, you'll be asked to give your project a title and set your output resolution. Typically, the default setting is 1080p. Once set, then hit start. With the cameras recording, you can use the power of Cinemaker in live editing by simply tapping your desired camera's preview monitor to cut between cameras, display and hide graphics and media by tapping the eyeball icon next to your preloaded media item, and adjust your cameras and audio mix in the camera and audio menus. After a few minutes of recording and live editing, you can stop by hitting the big red button once again. By default, Cinemaker records and saves your recording into individual project folders, including your cameras, audio, edit decisions, and media, so that you can go back and edit anytime from within Cinemaker's in-app editor and or in your favorite desktop editor, such as Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. We will cover the Cinemaker's in-app editor in another video. Live streaming and recording with Cinemaker is just as easy. For this video, let's go live to Facebook. To do so, with your cameras connected, simply tap the big red button and select your live stream destination. For either Facebook or YouTube, you'll need to enter your login credentials. Next, set your stream resolution and give your stream a title. When you're ready, tap start and your stream will begin. We suggest having your computer logged into your Facebook page so that you can monitor your stream live. And you'll notice that Facebook streams have about a 10 to 15 second delay. When your stream goes live, just like when recording, you could switch between cameras, turn your graphics and media on and off, and control your cameras and mix your audio. To finish your stream, hit the big red button again, and the project folder will be created just like it would while recording. If you have any more questions about recording and live streaming with Cinemaker, visit the Learning Center in the Start Screen menu or at cinemaker.com.